remember. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Hello guys, welcome to Mr. Legend Crypto Market Updates. Right now, we're having a very red in the cryptocurrency market. But guys, we've been having a very awesome month. We've been seeing all coins pumping over the last one month. Bitcoin is trading above that $7,000. Ethereum is trading above $2,000. Good times are returning back to the altcoin market. In this video, we are taking a look at the Bitcoin US dollar price chart where we're heading to in the coming days and coming weeks. we are taking a look at the general altcoin market. How high can we go in the coming days and in the coming weeks? We're seeing lot of all coins pumped to higher prices was in the general all coin market try to set new highs greed is returning back to the cryptocurrency market the all coin season index tells us we're not in all season how high can we go in the forthcoming pump we also look at new stories happening in the cryptocurrency world we'll be talking about that and more in this video but first guys an investment in knowledge pays the best interest when it comes to investing nothing will pay off more than educating yourself do the necessary research and analysis before making any investment decision Let's get down to business. I can only show you the door. You have to walk through it. The last one month has seen double digit gains across the board in the altcoin market. The last one month has seen some altcoins even have triple digit gains. We saw Ron having a great month. We saw Avax having a great month. Solana, FCT token were also having a great month. But how high do you expect the market to go in the coming days and coming weeks? Let's take a look at the general crypto market. Bitcoin still sits at number one. Total crypto market cap sits above $1.3 trillion. Bitcoin in the last seven days has gone up by 1.69%. Ethereum, the king of all coins, has lost 2.6% of its value over the last seven days. BNB saw a huge pump yesterday, a 4.1% pump. That's huge for BNB. Rallied up to as high as $250. The last seven days has seen BNB go up 5.4%. XRP is down 7.99% in the last seven days. Solana has also cooled down after having that impressive four weeks rally. Right now, Solana is down 7% in the last 24 hours, trading at the $55 level after getting to as high as $60. Cardano Ally is sitting at number eight. Dogecoin, the biggest meme coin in the cryptocurrency market, sits at number nine. We have Tron, which sits at number 10. Tron is down 5% in the last seven days. Let's take a look at gainers and losers in the market over the last seven days. The last seven days has seen some major, major pumps in the cryptocurrency market. Some new altcoins have been having great times. Some older altcoins have continued their awesome, awesome pump. We saw Casper rallying up by 52%. We saw Render Token pumping by 43%. Synthetic had a 30% increase. Qcoin Token had 22% increase. And Avalanche had a 20% rally over the last seven days. But also had some losers in the last seven days. Polygon Matic went down by 15%. Falcon went down by 10%. FTX token after that crazy pump still went down by 10%. We saw the sandbox also lose 9% of its value in the last seven days. Good times are returning to the cryptocurrency market. The altcoin market, excluding Bitcoin, is about to set new yearly highs. We've gotten to as high as $650 billion. And if you take a look at total crypto market cap, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum, we're also at a new high. We've rallied above that $400 billion level we've been talking about on this channel for quite a while right now. We've been stuck below that $400 billion level since the 15th of August 2022. Right now, we've seen the total crypto market cap pump to the highest value we have seen since that mini alt season that happened in August of 2022. Our next target to be the $450 billion level, and that $450 billion pump can happen very, very quickly, guys. I will not be shocked to see us before the end of this rally, before end of everything comes, before everything comes crashing down. I will not be shocked to see the altcoin market have a huge pump towards the eight hundred billion dollar region. Now, we'll see the altcoin market basically doubled from where we are currently trading. I will be showing you why I believe that will happen very very soon. Bitcoin, the king of the market, has gone from as low as sixteen thousand dollars. Bitcoin, the king of the market, has rallied. This has been a very great year for Bitcoin, even though there's a lot of fraud along the way. People have been expecting twelve thousand dollars. At every point in time, people are expecting Bitcoin to dump to Goblin Town. But right now, Bitcoin is strong. Bitcoin is up 141%. In the coming days and the coming weeks, I will not be shocked to see Bitcoin rally above $40,000. But I just have a sneaky feeling Bitcoin will not be able to pass that $45,000 level. There's a lot of theories going down in the market. New all-time highs, the Bitcoin halving, Bitcoin pumping to higher values, guys. I believe we're going for a huge, huge retracement. I believe Bitcoin has been pumping, yes. But I believe that we are getting ready for that one final pump to the moon that will see Bitcoin get to as high as 35, 
and that get to as high as forty five thousand dollars. Best case scenario, we see Bitcoin hitting that fifty thousand dollar level before it all come crashing down. But the altcoin market will have a huge rally before it all come crashing down. History has showed us over time that anytime we're getting to the end of the rally, we we'll see irrationality in the altcoin market. And over the last thirty days, we have started to see irrationality in the altcoin market. We have seen meme coins pumping. We have seen altcoins having crazy pumps on daily, on weekly, even having triple digit gains on a monthly time frame. If you look at Bitcoin dominance in the cryptocurrency market, it sits at 52%, which is good to see. But guys, if you're holding an altcoin, you want to see Bitcoin dominance dump into Goblin Town. If you're holding an altcoin, you want to see Bitcoin dominance turn on itself and start losing value. Because anytime Bitcoin dominance is dumping, there might be a chance that the altcoin market is having a great time. The other time Bitcoin dominance will be dumping is that the whole crypto market is dumping, but the altcoin market is not dumping as hard as Bitcoin. But right now, Bitcoin is having a great time. Bitcoin dominance has been pumping to higher values since September of 2022. It's not going to pump to the moon forever, guys. At some point in time, it start dumping to Goblin Town. But when that time comes, the capital is going to flow into the altcoin market. We're yet to see alt season in 2023. Alt season usually happens once a year. We saw alt season in 2022. We saw alt season in 2021. I believe the 2023 alt season is going to be very crazy. I believe the 2023 alt season is going to be outrageous. Bitcoin is up 41 percent over the last 90 days if we see 75 percent of the top 50 coins perform better than bitcoin it means we're officially in all season the trick is to buy your all coins when when bitcoin season and to sell them when we get to all season let's take a look at some news stories happening in the cryptocurrency world there's been a lot of chaos every news stories right now that comes out just looks bullish that's what happens when the market is bullish any news story we see people will look for a way to interpret it in a bullish scenario Santander offers Bitcoin ETH trading for Swiss account holders. ZK Community Alliance with Core Web3 Mission. Crypto Community begins Bitcoin halving countdown as milestones date near. Bitcoin halving is less than 140 days away. Are we going to see Bitcoin still trade above $40,000 when the halving comes? There's a lot of theories going out there. Only time will tell. Japanese, plant, Japanese exchange plans to start digital security trading on 25th of December 2023. Mastercard compounds crypto fraud related AI integration. Definity Tap Singularity Net to bring AI services to DApps. ARK 21 shares. ARK 21 shares update spot Bitcoin ETF applications as SEC deadline looms. The deadline for those applications is the 11th of January. Are we going to see a rally till the 11th of January? Or will Bitcoin be having that sweet, sweet retracement when we get to 11th of January? Big news coming out of USD Theta. You had that. USD Theta freeze more than $225 million linked to rumors, scammers amid Department of Justice investigation. That's crazy to see. Everybody thinks cryptocurrency is anonymous, but guys, they can easily freeze your money anytime you're doing anything illegal. So stay safe out there. Crypto Exchange Bullish buys 100% stake in crypto media site Coindex. Coindex was, in, was owned by Grayscale, but right now they're selling it to this exchange called Bullish. They're buying 100% stake in Coindex. Good luck to them. Open AI staff tells the boss they are going to resign after Stamp Altman Austin and scientists develop AI monitoring agents to detect and stop harmful output. Let's take a look at sentiments in the cryptocurrency market, guys. Right now, there's greed in the cryptocurrency market. Last month, sentiments in the market was neutral. The bulls and the bears were having a great time battling it out. But right now, the bulls are winning. If you're a bear, you are getting slaughtered. If you're a bear, you're getting down as we're pumping to the moon. But guys, don't get too greedy. Don't get too fearful. Right now is the time not to get too greedy. We're about to enter extreme greed. Extreme greed, we see huge, huge pumps in the altcoin market. Extreme greed, we see Bitcoin. Maybe rallying above $40,000. Ethereum getting above $3,000. The altcoin market giving us pumps on a daily, on a weekly time frame. Don't get carried away. Anything that goes up will eventually come down. So remember to take some profits off the table. But if you see extreme greed, we see the altcoin season index telling us when alt season. This will be all the recipes we are waiting for for that epic, epic pump in the altcoin market. Liquidation is rising in the cryptocurrency market. The last 24 hours has seen more than 52,000 traders liquidated. Total liquidation comes in at $117 million. The largest liquidation happened on OKX. One trader was liquidated for $2.14 million while trying to trade Bitcoin. Be careful out there, guys. You want to get liquidated before the big move. Be careful out there, guys. You don't want to lose all your money before the epic all season happens. U.S. Justice Department reportedly ready to settle with Binance for $4 billion. Microsoft and NVIDIA stocks reach all-time highs and miss OpenAI CEO Shuffle. Bittrex Global Trading. Bittrex Global announced all trading will be disabled as it winds down its operation. They are closing down their exchanges because of regulatory concerns. And Canada regulators seek feedback on crypto asset exposure 
Canada regulator six feedback on crypto asset exposure disclose requirements. Let me take that again. Canadian regulator seek feedback on crypto assets exposures disclosure requirements. SEC is cracking allegedly is an unregistered exchange mixed user fund. The SEC is going after every exchange, anyone they can get. They just want to have their hands in crypto. Cambodia digital currency Bangkok arms up use case with Ali Pay agreement. Both trade association files support in suits to leave synodi cash sanctions and Bitcoin transaction flips Ethereum as ordinance hypes return. Let's go back to the charts, guys. Total crypto market cap sits above a trillion dollars. Total crypto market cap has been making huge gains over the last few weeks. or since total crypto market cap even set new yearly highs. Are we going to continue pumping to higher values? I believe we're going to do that. If we see Bitcoin continue rallying the way we expect, we expect to see total crypto market cap also rallying to higher values. All the bears are turning to bulls right now. I believe total crypto market cap can get to as high as $2 trillion from where we're currently trading. That crypto market cap will just need to give us another 43 percent pump for us to get to that two trillion dollar level how high will bitcoin be trading then how high will ethereum be trading then only time will tell guys drop your thoughts in the comment section i used to buy some altcoins expecting that epic alt season how high do you see bitcoin going before the rally comes to an end do you see ethereum getting to as high as three thousand five hundred dollars drop your thoughts about that in the comment section thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this Turn on the post notifications to get notified anytime I drop a new video, anytime I go live. Remember guys, when it comes to investing, nothing will pay off more than educating yourself. And investment in knowledge pays the best interest. So invest for the long haul. Don't get too scared. Don't get too greedy. See you guys in my next video. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more.